There's two, there's four, there's six and eight. Shunting, rolling stock, and hauling freight. Red, green, yellow, orange, purple, brown, blue, they're the really useful crew. That's who, all with different roles to play around Tidmouth Sheds and far away. Down Gordon's Hill and around some bends, we got Thomas and his friends. Percy is a tank engine that works on the island of Sodor. He has four small wheels, an apple green livery, and a number six painted on the side of his coal bunker. Back in 1950, he was brought to the island to help in the yards. Nowadays, he co-works with Thomas on his branch line, running as a part-time passenger train and a full-time goods train taking goods and parcels to Napford Harbor. But there's one job that Percy loves the most. Evening, Percy. You ready for your mail train? You better believe it. Percy loves to deliver the mail train. It's a good stretch for his wheels traveling across the island, delivering mail and parcels to their destinations on time. Just outside the entrance of the North Knapford Harbor is a post office where Percy picks up the mail and parcels. As he waited for his vans to be loaded, he heard a sound that made him jump. What was that? The manager of the post office had a little dog with him. Oh, hello, Percy. I would like you to meet Oscar. I adopted him yesterday. Oscar trotted up to Percy and started to sniff all over him. I think he likes you. The post office manager offered Percy the opportunity to look after Oscar while he was working in his office. Could I? Here, Oscar, hop in. Oscar hopped in his cab, and the mail train was off. Their first stop was at Natford Stations. Hello again, how was your sleep? Quite pleasant. Go on, Oscar. Is that a dog? Actually, he's the post office's manager dog. Good evening, E.T. Hi, Rebecca. Check out Percy's little friend. Aw, well, isn't he a sweet sight for the eyes? Sadly, it was time for Oscar and Percy to go. But Stafford and Rebecca were very happy to meet Percy's new friend. Pulling the mail train at night time And I've got Oscar riding inside We are delivering mail And running on time with no fail Percy continued to sing along the line until they finally reached Vickerstown Station. There, Samson took the leftover mail that was needed to be taken to the mainland. Percy then dropped Oscar off back at the North Mefford Harbor, went back to Tidmouth Sheds, and got right to sleep for the next night shift. That evening, Thomas arrived at the North Mefford Harbor's post office. The mail and the parcels got loaded up, 
and once they were done, the van's door closed, the guard waved his green lamp, and Thomas departed. But as he departed, there was an issue. Um, sir, uh, th this letter was supposed to be on Thomas's train. What are we gonna do? <coughs> Wait, what the- Ah! Hey! Oscar! Oscar, come back! Oscar! But it was too late. Oscar dashed off. Thomas's first stop was at the Lower Tidnet Station. As he waited, he heard a faint noise in the distance. Driver, do you hear that? It sounded like a barking, and then pitter-pattering of feet. It was Oscar, and in his mouth was the forgotten letter. After Tom Tipper picked it up from him, poor Oscar was tired and he lied down. All the running from Knapford Harbor tuckered him out. Poor creature. Why don't we let him ride in my cab? Thomas's crew agreed, and Oscar limbed on to his cab, and they were off. Oscar quite enjoyed Thomas's smooth ride. Hi, Thomas. Not every day I give to give dog rides. This is the third time, yet it's a real pleasure. While Thomas was having a really pleasant evening, Poor Percy was about to have the polar opposite. Oh no! I overslept! Percy! You're two minutes late! Sorry. Say, where's Oscar? Oh, that little mutt just dashed off from the harbor. Who knows where he's at now? <gasps> he could be lost in cold. We gotta find him. Percy urged the staff to load up his van so he can do a little search mission. After his van was loaded, Percy raced off to find his little friend. He searched along the villages. He looked carefully within the woods. He asked others if they've seen Oscar. Sorry, Percy. Haven't seen him. The quest to find Oscar went on and on. But as hard as Percy tried, his hopes of finding Oscar were dashed. In the morning, Thomas finished his deliveries and made his way back to the North Knapford Harbor. But when he got there, he saw the staff and a very sad-looking Percy. Thomas asked his friend what was wrong, and Percy explained that Oscar was missing, or so he thought. Perhaps this little surprise will cheer you up. And out of Thomas's cab sprung Oscar. The staff and Percy were quite overjoyed to see him. Oh my word, where was he? He just ran up to us with a letter in his mouth. Oh, thank you so much, Thomas. Thank you so much. Oh well, that's what friends are for. And so, in the end, Oscar was delighted to be traveling with Percy's mail run. And he became his lucky charm.